everybody. How are you tonight? Um, this is Kim Warner, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Jupiter and um, the Sagittarius archetype. We're going to have the Sagittarius class on November 6th, uh, 5 o'clock Pacific time. If you want to get in on that class, uh, you can cash at me. The information will be on YouTube at um, dollar sign IFW Builders. Um, you can also go to our website and see how we actually use the proceeds. Um, they go towards helping families that are um, less fortunate in need, children, um, and we're building on Christmas gifts at this time. Um, also, you can go to PayPal. Uh, dot me uh, slash inner faith all right and so the information will be at the bottom of the youtube so we're going to talk about um the angel or sagittarius and um the stone related to sagittarius and um, those that sign up for the class will receive a stone if you're in another country then we'll have to um, adjust the postage so that you will be able to pay the whole amount. The stone is included in the class, which is $35 if you come in. But for people that are in other countries, the postage is going to be um, higher. So we'll have to adjust that and you can inbox me on that. So anyway, when we look at um, Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet of expansion and growth. It motivates that expansion and growth. And so anybody with that energy or born under that sign and anyone that has it in their chart um, can be dominated by growth depending on how much it is and where it is, where it's at. But that's what Jupiter's place is. So the centaur, the Sagittarius um, archetype, is going to look at growth and development. And um, I could say it very clear, like a partner of mine, um, if you talk to him about growth, it's like a ding, um, an awakening comes on because he is a Sagittarius. Um, he's a therapist. Uh, they also uh, get into religious type of um, work or philosophy. Um, things that are thought driven. Um, they're, they're travelers. So you might find a Sagittarius that uh, gets into um, traveling because um, they are adventurous. So not to say too much about them, but just to key in on the fact that they're growth and expansive. And so when you have one of them on your team, uh, they're going to bring energy to grow and to expand in business, especially if it's a partnership business. Um, even in relationships, there's an expansion. And one of the things I was sharing with some of the young women I work with is that women um, and men that are Sagittarius or if they have Sagittarius in their chart, they can notice um, weight around the middle stomach uh, area because, and the hips because of the expansion that um, Sag, you know, brings, Jupiter brings. So um, one of the things, because I'm not going to stay on with you too long, that I wanted to give you guys is an understanding of um, the stone. The stone is um, turquoise um, for uh, Sag and the archangel is Ra Ragiel, and Ragiel is an angel of um, Judy, Judaism, um, considered to be an angel of justice because, you know, that energy of the Sagittarius works in justice uh, as well and government. Um, its name means friend of God. Ragiel is um, referred to as the angel of justice, fairness, and harmony. And you could know that about um, this angel because it's giving the uh, Sagittarius archetype the energy of optimism. Even when, you know, some of them are um, not as optimistic, one of the main things about uh, Sagittarius along with um, growth and expansion is, is that they're very optimistic. Um, they will uh, encourage people 
when people don't, a person doesn't want to be encouraged. Um, they're happy people in most cases. Yeah, they're happy and they like to be in happy surroundings. So um, I, I could say like a childlike um, uh, manner. So um, when you um, look at more understanding, you look at the fact that um, this archetype, its archangel is Ragiel, and the, the person that is um, dominated by that um, energy, if they are a sun sign or even a moon, or a um, ascendant, you call on this angel, Ragiel, to assist you. Um, the colors are uh, turquoise, and the stone that um, um, the uh, Jupiter Sagittarius um, um, is more defined by is topaz. And so um, on our class, we'll talk about the history. We'll talk about some of the um, mental challenges that they go through because one of the reasons why I started really working with the energies and the charts is because I um I'm in a psychology based um work. I am a behavior health um assistant. Um I also do social work. I'm in school now for um my PsyD. Um, which is um, a science PhD in behavior health facilitation. So um, behaviors matter to me and the energies that uh, come through the archetypes of the signs um, make the difference in us. And if we understand them, there's a lot of challenges that we could change into success and um, also understand the way that our minds function um, in a better way. So um, the class will be on the 6th of November, 2019. Um, we talked about our Mercury retrograde just about two weeks ago. Um, anyway, I just came on to let you guys know about that and um, give you a little bit of history if anybody wants to order the um, stones without being a part of the class, you can inbox me. Um, the stones are $10. So the class is 35, but you can get the stone for $10. Um, I sell the stones for all of the 12 uh, months. And what they do is add um, the energy that's needed for your body. If you're depleted, going through illness, um, in this area with Sagittarius, you would call on this angel and it would assist you. Um, and the stone would do the same. Okay, so God bless you guys and have a wonderful evening. Get some rest. Bye-bye.